Shifting focus now to the second wide angle story of uh, this uh, episode, which is the rise of monkeypox or mpox cases. Thailand becomes the first country in Asia to report the latest mutant of the mpox variant. And this variant is more deadly. It is more contagious. Elaborate measures are now being put in place even in India to ensure that the spread is contained. It does not spread at all. And anticipatory measures are being taken. A 14-bed isolation ward has been created in Mumbai's Seven Hills Hospital. But despite the global MPOX outbreak two years ago, which affected over 1 lakh people in 116 countries, the larger question is that regulation of animal markets is still not being done. Remember, it's MPOX. It's come from the same animal market and the same area which remains a concern. In fact, zoonotic diseases is one of the focus areas of WHO in its global health plan, which has fallen flat due to zero consensus amongst rich and poor countries. How bad is it? We'll take a look at this report to tell you just how much is politics hampering a global health treaty that may prevent such outbreaks or at least minimize the impact on the entire humanity. Four years after the WHO declared COVID-19 as a pandemic, the world is hoping that the same mistakes will not be repeated. In March 2024, 194 countries met to finalize a global treaty. The treaty aims to enhance global cooperation, data sharing and better response measures to any future global outbreaks. Elaborate pandemic prevention measures include surveillance for emerging pathogens, access to better sanitation, infection control and better regulation of animal markets. But despite nine rounds of negotiations, a consensus on a global treaty remains elusive due to geopolitical tensions and differing national interests. Talks have been slow due to disagreements over intellectual property rights of pharma companies and resource allocation since COVID saw rich countries prioritize their own citizens. Unlike last time around, the what needs to be done has now been clearly defined. But exactly like last time, how do we do it together has only rejoined us. The monkeypox outbreak shows that what's needed is an overhaul of the world's health architecture. But as things stand right now, it's each country for itself.